Alright, good morning everyone. We are at the Upbox printer. Uh, we've got the um, pink filament, which is for the um, Da Vinci printer. But I've taken it out of the cartridge and just wrapped it on a dimensional leaf spool. Um, just been making my bases for the, the uh, pick micro, trying to get the quality up so that um, my boss is happy. Um, this, these ones have been printed with the raft option set on, and um, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Um, I I really wanted um, <coughs> to print something without the raft, so basically no cleaning up required. Um, now previously I had put in, put sorry not put in, I've had put uh, glue down uh, because that's what I had done with the uh, Da Vinci printers, uh, but uh, after some experimentation, I have to say, don't do that. It's not a good idea. Um, so basically, once I'd cleaned off the glue that I put on before, I found that, well, as you can see here, I've printed this base without the raft option. Um, there is some leftover from the previous print jobs where I had used the raft option, and you can see the width difference between having a raft and not having a raft, there's a lot of extra material there which you may not want to use. So in my mind if something has a, has a very small base, the model actually has a small base, you need to use the raft and supports to build it. But in this case the base is quite wide, well it's wide enough, so it's, it's printed out okay. I don't know if you can see that but I think there's a slight bend in that board and I'm thinking as the ABS plastic has cooled down it's, it's warped that board a little bit. So probably in the ideal case you wouldn't let it cool down you'd um, take it off pretty much right away. Now the trick is how to get this thing off. Well it's already lifted up a little bit in the corner here so just getting your um, scraper. Sometimes I've had to um, put it up against a block of wood which is here. This is my trusty block of wood. Uh, sometimes you need the plastic no, nylon hammer. Make sure you've got your um, safety glasses on, of course. And just running it on that gap there. And you can see it's coming off quite, uh, quite easily. Of course, once you say that, it starts getting hard. Murphy's Law. That's what the hammer is for. Give it a gentle tap. So just looking on the underside, I'll use my magnifying lens to show you that. You can see the uh, dimples where the material has gone through the holes and that's what gives it the grip. So you can't really get around uh, having that surface there, uh, but that's what allows the model to stick onto the base. And there you go. Um, not a bad job. That's, um, that was at point 0.2 resolution and um, the normal setting. So it only took about an hour and 40 minutes to print out. Um, if you set it on fine resolution and fine, s and, um, fine setting, it'll take about 8 hours to print the same print job. So there you go. That's it.